Hello guys, Genos here and welcome to Excess Heroes and today let's review the Fate Core Kyla gear again. Why? Because he's going to receive his core reverse upgrade and definitely is going to receive his new skill sets. And now the main question is, is it going to be of any help to the current meta contents from now onwards? That's it, let's get this started. Let's begin with his artwork and he kind of looks same as before, not much of change right over here. Notice score reverse upgrade, Requiem, Shaman, Kylak. Player is going to start 13th of September and going to last until 20th of September. Main hero guys he's a black fit core hero so he's gonna drop at 0.7 percent chance from his own banner you will be able to get him for free after 19 multi summons in his banner okay so yeah there we go guys and well as he is a black fate core hero, right of the bad guys, it's totally not worth summoning for him or spending any amount of sass for this guy right over here. Save your sass for a really good gold fate core hero unit that might be coming up in near future who might change the meta, right? And the next thing is that like, yeah, he may be really good. So how to get him? Yes, you will be able to get a lot of fate core recruit ticket from so many events out there in the game. So eventually you are going to get your hands on this character for free. Just be patient, all right? So anyways, that's said let's look into this skill information right over here saints attitude and white knight reversion has been added to the passive skill mana absorb three it says the passive effect removes enemy buff and gains mana one mana this is going to be a really great help in these even Estonia battles being able to uh, remove the buff of the enemy right of the bat passively it's so good uh, recently there have been so many core reverse upgrades on so many hero units out there providing them with a lot of buff effects passively as well as actively so in order to remove their buff it's gonna be a really great help out there. Gains mana one mana. Additionally, if health of the target is at 80% or more, removes one mana from the target, then gains mana one mana to self if health of the target is 30% or less. Extra ways of gaining mana, which is definitely gonna be great help for his skill execution. Next is gonna be the soul absorption or let's absorb soul okay if under the effect of soul bond soul bond is a synergy effect provided by dorka okay and the problem with the dorka is that she still doesn't have the gold fit core you know like upgrade and uh that's why the brown nation is really weak right now and we cannot really build a very strong team around the brown nation so definitely the future of the kylak right now does not seem really that strong okay until and unless that time when the gold fate core of dorka arrives uh, heals for 100% of all damage dealt to all enemies with damage over time effects. So that is pretty great. Every dot damage dealt, the damage is actually going to be converted into the health gain for the Kyla. And this is a recovery effect or a health recovery effect, okay? Which is going to be a really great help for his other passive skill effects. Like, let's say, Ascension right over here. Mark effect, it says, increases his own defense by 20% for 7 turns upon receiving health regeneration effects. Look at this right of here, guys. I'm like, they kind of work hand in hand with each other. <laughs> okay, really good synergy right over here within two passive skill effects and can be stacked up to a total of five times. So meaning like his defense can be boosted up to 100%. But is, it, but is it really that great? Well, it is good for the direct damage, but when it comes to signature force damage, the signature force damage in this game totally ignores the defense. So yeah, uh, that's the problem. Anyways, next is going to be the Saints attitude buff effect if there is a living ally with higher defense than self at the start of round which is not really that hard to fulfill increases on attack by 50 percent of own current defense for one round wow that's great guys good thing about this thing is that like it resets every round all right so as long as there is a living ally in the team who has higher defense stats compared to himself he is gonna have that 50 percent of attack boost all the freaking time 50% uh, of the defense uh, stats okay as the attack boost <laughs> alright so yeah there we go guys and that is pretty awesome I would say that allows him to deal a lot more damage against the opponents guys okay and next is gonna be the white knight reversion and I'd say it's a special effect uh, resets on turn if a health regeneration effect is applied on self four times one time per round so it kind of resets as well which is also really good alright so it can be refreshed and um, as long as like uh, he managed to receive health regeneration effects for a total of four times which is going to be much easier for him to apply here and there because dot damage usually stays for a very long time and definitely he's going to be able to receive that four times health regeneration effect pretty soon so yeah this can be actually quite easy to accomplish as well and with that he's going to have a turn set which is definitely going to be 
really helpful in order to pump out extra DPS against the opponents, right? So yeah, there we go guys, extra attack boost right over here, and uh, extra turn right over here as well with the knight, white knight reversing, it's definitely catered for extra DPS against the opponents or extra performance boost. So I would say that's a really good improvement. Next is going to be the Karoots skill has been added. Karoot is pretty much like dot damage, okay, so dot damage is added to his um, first active skill, White Knight Reaper, which costs only one mana, so it's really easy to spam the skill all day and all night. A single target deals 300% damage to one enemy, uh, that's pretty quite good, just like you know, Fate Core Jeon, right? Uh, Spatial, corrodes the target upon hitting an attack, dealing 50% damage every turn for two turns if Soulborn Mark is applied on self, okay? So under the generalship of Dorka, he's gonna be able to inflict the opponents with corrosion, that can deal them dot damage for the next two turns, which is definitely going to be providing him the uh, health regener regeneration effect right over here, thanks to the Absorb Soul, right? And it's gonna trigger the Ascension as well as the White Knight Reversion right over here, guys, which is just too good, okay? Getting extra turns as well as getting the defense boost. <gasps> My god, that's great, isn't it? Next is gonna be the active skill number two. Uh, it costs three mana has no burst effect and uh, evil soul harvester it says the name of the second active skill effect guys it deals 89 percent damage to all enemies which is going to be quite good so if he's going to be dealing like dot damage to all the opponents thanks to this overtime effect right over here corrodes target dealing 39 percent damage every turn for the three turns look at that right so it's going to be more helpful to his uh this uh this uh, this absorb soul and white knight reversion and that's it as the uh, dot damage is the key right over here definitely the first guardian knight are gonna be a really big enemy to this guy and definitely having Fedcor Iris or let's say Misty if possible in your team is gonna be most essential okay yes try to have Misty in your team and your problem is gonna be totally solved and definitely your Kylak is gonna be unleashed but before that one we need the gold Fedcor of Dorka first okay so yeah that's the thing out there uh, without the gold Fedcor of Dorka without the strong build for the brown nation we just cannot move forward really that nice all right so yeah that's say that's that, that, that's the problem out here guys and with the exclusive weapon it's pretty much a scam don't fall for it it's same as old stuff right over here guys uh, just 30 attack boost and like 3000 cp boost which is nothing and it's asking for the same amount of uh cess with same drop rate for this shitty thing out here so it's totally not worth it guys uh don't fall for it all right anyways that's it definitely the uh, fate core kylak has now become quite an amazing unit um with the introduction of the gold fate core dorka it's gonna be much more like you know feasible or viable for him to be used in a team as a powerful unit that could be the possible case scenario but for that one we gotta wait okay and we also have the gold fate core naomi as well right yeah gold fate core dorka gold fate core naomi and we have got the black fate core kylak they can actually form a really formidable team so let's wait for the gold fate core dorka and only that one uh, and only after that one we can really uh you know, like start to uh, an analyze like how like uh, really effective he's gonna be in the battlefield so for now guys he's pretty good uh, but no need for summoning him as is a black fit core unit because there are so many ways of getting the black fit core hero in units in this game for free that's it this is it for today see you guys in the next video